Welcome New York Giants. You come at an opportune time. We are preparing a veritable feast. Carrots, mushrooms, pineapple, cave onions, and for dessert, the melon tart. But we have none of these things. That is why we call on our industrious lemur minions. The uh, problem with preparing the feast is that um, when the Fusa attacked, our food supplies were kind of wiped out. It's always something. Well, this should be quite a soiree. Who needs food? You could help greatly with some basic foraging. That sounds dangerous. Then would you consider collecting fruit and vegetables instead? That will do. It's settled then. Use the totems to switch between you and your three friends. You have each different abilities and can finish different tasks. Oh, one more thing. If you would like advice on where to look for the banquet items, you can return to me and I'll try and help you out. As you go down the mudslides, see if you can pick up any fruit along the way. Melman, as you go down the mudslides, see slides. if you can pick up any fruit along the way. Melman is the only one that cannot go down the slides.
carrots love growing in this garden, all right? But these nasty little moles like to uproot the plants before they're ripe. I need you to save the veggies by smashing the moles when everyone surfaces, all right? I can get with that. Cool! Show them your butts the boss, and some of the fruits or uh, vegetables of your labor will be yours. Can you dig? Hope so. He can. Good luck, Glory, all right? You pay for this. You haven't seen the last of me. You showed that mole the way home. Here's your prize, Gloria. yoga you're doing? Oh, I'm just trying to get this fruit in. Oh, be still, my foolish heart. Excuse me? I'm Wilbur, and you are the most beautiful creature I have ever seen. I must have you. Oh, please. You've got a much better chance of picking up the fruit, and that's not looking too good. Well, I, uh, you know, I, j I, I just uh, can't lift that much right now because I injured my knee earlier doing uh, something really impressive. Say, maybe you could help me smash these melons I need to make my famous melon tort. And what's in it for me? Well, I could make you some to bring back for your grand jubilee feast. It's on. Oh, okay, great. We just have to smash these melons quick as they ripen. Otherwise, they spoil fast. And I only believe in using fresh fruit. <laughs> That was like poetry in motion. We should get together on another date again soon. Another date, Wilbur? Yes, but now I have to start making that melon tort I promised. Catch you later.
brought to the cave onions ripen. Harvest them quickly or the spiders will get them first. Spiders? We will be needing many cave onions for the marvelous, savory, fried, blossom spectacular. That's a lot of... Don't dilly-dally, the harvest season doesn't last that long. We shall feast for days. Juicy sweet, juicy sweet. Juicy sweet, juicy sweet. They seem a bit too happy. Again, my gigantic friend. So nice to see you. Unfortunately, though, tis not much else I can see as I seem to have misplaced my glasses. Would you be a dear and guide me to the fruit plants that need my pollination help? Nice to see you again as well, and yes, I would be more than happy to help. Oh, of course you would. Such a nice boy you are. Now, I do have a strict order in which I must visit the various plants as their flowers reach full bloom. So pay close attention and be swift and sure with your guidance. First, we must go to the Crimson Crimsonian plant. It's very nearby. Next to the blue, blue, blue plant. Now the limey green one. Where is Periwinkle? I must have Periwinkle. On to sea foam green. A lot like Periwinkle. <laughs> nice! Only a couple more to go. Next, the wondrously rare gray plant. And finally, the dark black plant, as black as coal. A honey of a job.
I wish to direct your attention to the mushroom you see growing here. Quite a delicacy in the taste, simply to die for. Mm. Of course, you know they're quite rare and grown under only the most specific conditions. You must repeat their colorful patterns exactly for the mushroom to grow. Repeat? You must repeat their colorful pattern for the mushy mushroom to grow. That's not what I meant. I mean, this game seems familiar somehow. Oh, I assure you, this is no game, my uncultured friend. This, this is art. Fine, let's get going. <laughs> I'm afraid this job is only for you, Alex. That's simply how life works. Do keep going. Be steadfast in your vigilance. I apologize for not being of more assistance, but this is simply something you must do by yourself. Would love to help, but it's just not doable. Well done! The precious mushroom has begun its celestial ballet! Start collecting! performing without an audience. So wish to challenge me to a jumping contest, do you? Think you can jump farther than me, can you? I didn't say anything about a jumping contest. We never even met before. Although, now that you mention it, yes. I guess I do think I can jump farther than you. Ah, well, how's about we make a little contest out of it, uh-huh? If you can out-jump me, I'll give you some of my frog fruit. Makes for a great gift, it does. And of course, if I win, I'd say a few words designed and intended to humiliate you. Sounds like a good deal. Let's see what you got, little frog. <laughs> so, I might have underestimated you, Zebra. You got Moxie, I'll give you that I will. But that was only the first jump it was. Let's see if you make the next one. <laughs> I'm 
I'm going to let you in on a little secret, my friend. You still haven't seen my best jump yet. Been going easy on you, have. Got a feeling that's about to change, though. <laughs> Looks like I've misjudged you, stranger. You got some real legs on you, uh-huh. Probably deserve a bit of frog fruit for your troubles, and I'm here to give it to you. so dangerous. I'm afraid to ask. These cockroaches are trying to steal our stash of noogie nuts for the noogie nut noogie smoothies. I need to get rid of them, but I'm too small. All oh, those roaches make me so mad I could just squeeze them really hard and yell at them. Ah! Why can't Alex do it? Well, the other New York giants scare them off only temporarily, so then they come back. But you, you can help. See, the cockroaches aren't afraid of you because you're afraid of them. But if you gather what courage you have, you can wait for them to come and then head bash them. Yeah! You said it, though. I'm scared of them. Then you can stand in the middle of the Nuki Nuts mound. They'll form a kind of protective barrier. Yeah, that's it. Um, that's right. And then bash the roaches when they come for the Nuki Nuts. Ha! That'll work! Oh, that's gross. Well, you do want Noogie Nut Noogie Smoothies, don't you? They're really, really good! All right, I'll do it. Noogie Noogie. Noogie Noogie Noogie. Noogie Noogie Noogie. noogie. My Noogie Noogie Noogie. Noogie Noogie. Noogie Noogie. Noogie Noogie. This place is so unsanitary. It looks like it hasn't been cleaned in ever. Thank you, New York Giants, for helping us to find all the ingredients for all the wonderful food we will be providing for you at our super special and amazing banquet. In exchange for your help, we would like to give you a... The key to the jungle! Sir, we don't have a door to the jungle, much less a key. Well, what can we give them then? Well, it's a banquet. Just give them food. Ooh, good one. You know that key to the jungle thing, it gets sold. And what good would it do you anyway? I've changed my mind. I am in fact going to offer you lots and lots of food from our banquet. I thought we were going to get that in. Thank you so much. Right. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you. 